Okay, I made it back to Beacon Rock. There's the climbing area down there. Beacon Rock Trail. Of course, I forgot the discovery pass in my car, my other car. But I had Sally send me a picture of it, so I am someone to hold you. Way. You can see the snow from this morning. We'll get a better shot of that here in a little bit. See the railings up there? Okay, so I put in a, uh, a mic and it was dead, powered off, so I couldn't get any voice coming out of it, so that's why uh, I'm doing a voiceover here. So you can see we're going through the gate here. Beautiful snow across the way. This was really stunning. It was snowing this morning. Those are the switchbacks. This is my first time, well, my first time I actually made the trail. So I was really just looking out here. It just, it was gorgeous. And uh, it's a very nice trail. Looking more over at the snow and the clouds, it really was gorgeous. You have these wood planks a lot. Um, this is obviously a built trail. I believe it was 1918. We're going to see a sign here in a minute. Here, it's coming up right now, actually. You will see that. 1915. Completed in 1918. Okay, so it took them three years. Well, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, this is a big, you know, volcanic mound. <laughs> so you can see the uh, the planks and the railings and everything. They really had to, uh, I don't know if they blasted it out. I didn't really read the history on it, but it's a fabulous trail. Right now we are on the south side. Because you can see the Columbia River on the left, and that's Washington, the peaks in Washington, and the forest right on the other side. You can see the trees off to the side of the trail here. Um, not a lot of shade uh, in the lower part of it here. So this is kind of the first time I saw shade. It's like, oh, that's cool. And the good news is you can't hear me breathing. They're the switchbacks as you're kind of looking up. Definitely switchbacks. Although you'll see uh, on several of the switchbacks that we're going to see, you get this view. Here it is. Wow. Just gorgeous. Looking out down the Columbia River, across the snow capped mountains. Beautiful Columbia River. And considering I was left the house. It was raining and snowing, and uh, a couple hours later, this is what I'm hiking in. Beautiful. And every time you hit that, that end on the switchbacks, you get this view. Probably showing it too much, but it, it uh, really is outstanding. That is the highlight. We're turning in now, We're kind of off the south side. We're going along the east side of it now. Um, that last view is very close to what you'll see at the very top as well. So we're kind of cut in going over the top. A lot more trees on this side, a lot more shade. We are on the north side now. And you can see we're fairly close to the top, but still have a little bit to come around. This is a easy 1.5 mile. I mean, it is up, but it's not super steep. 
Um, of course, you can't hear me breathing, so I can lie to you. <laughs> Just kidding. It's not a difficult hike. There's there's no rock scrambling, no nothing like that. And oh yeah, look at this. It's a beautiful view up the Columbia Gorge to the east. Okay, and then we kind of turn back in again. And that is the top right up there. You can kind of see the tree leaning over the trail, but apparently no one cares. I think we walk under it, so uh, it should work out just fine. Oh, and these steps, 18 inch steps. Now, come on, why do they always put this in somewhere? <laughs> it's like, holy cow. So then they get a little smaller here. They're back to normal steps, but still, they like six of those just big 18 inch steps. I guess because you're close to the top, they want to mess with you. And then here's the top and that same stunning view. There we go. There we go. Let's see if I can do that. There we go. Oh, there. Follow my face while I'm taking a video. Perfect. Uh, just, you know, I'm on Beacon Rock, so, uh, yeah, it's probably the middle of the video. You already know that. Uh, I took a picture of a family of four, you know, got the beautiful background, all that. It was stunning. And then, uh, someone asked to take me a video and I talked it walking through the, uh, the gate up there. It was really great. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi. Good, how are you? Good, good. So, uh, it's... People are great. I mean, you know, you hear all this, uh, you know, I hate people and all that. And it's, it's just garbage. Get out and meet people. <laughs> you know, I know COVID, COVID took its toll and, you know, you're not used to talking to people and everything, but man, I've, you know, saying hi to everyone and, um, you know, another young guy was up here. He was, you know, camping down at the uh, boat ramp last night and, you know, talking about his daughter and his girlfriend and, you know, it's just, uh, yeah, people are great. And, uh, you know, this guy, you know what he's doing? He took a really good video of me walking through the gate up there and a uh, picture of me standing in the gate. You know, it snowed. The snow level only came down so far, as you've probably seen, because I've shown it to you probably way too much. But uh, it's beautiful. And, you know, it's, a, it's not sunny anymore, but it was beautiful sunny for a little while. And, uh, you know, when I'm driving out, it was raining and snowing. So I don't know what you're going to get, but... Um, ended up being a perfect day. So uh, it's, I'm just amazed at uh, how lucky I am to live here, to have this available to me. You know, round trip, three hours, including the hike to the top of Beacon Rock and, and three waterfalls. I mean, it, uh, you know, I know there's other places in the world you can do it, but this is just outstanding. I love living here. I would uh, would not recommend it for anyone else. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Uh, there's, there's only 4 million people in the entire state of Oregon. I don't know about Washington, which technically I'm in Washington right now, but a lot of the uh, snow-covered mountains you were seeing was Oregon across the Columbia River. Um, but there's only 4 million people in Washington, so, or in uh, Oregon. So, uh, you know, it's it's crazy. And there's so much beauty to see. So come on down or come on over. It, uh, uh, it's great. I love it here. All right. I just noticed cars were over there too. So the, uh, the parking was not limited to that, uh, small, you know, 15 cars or whatever was down there. So there's plenty of parking over here. It looks like you could open these at 50 cars. And all that. So and it does require the discovery day pass that I forgot in my other car, but hopefully that won't be an issue. Uh, it's always send me a picture of it in case I needed it, but uh, I don't think that's the case. I've had people tell me they've never been caught when they forgot their pass, so uh, yeah, I don't know what that means. I'm not going to worry about it too much. There's the Beacon Rock. Looking all the way up there. Oh, look at that tree. That's crazy. All right. We are coming down 
Um, fabulous, it was fabulous hike. Um, yeah, definitely recommend it.